Welcome back to another Foxy Games UK news video. A ton of Spider-Man 2 PlayStation 5 news for you today, as well as news of the up and coming PlayStation Showcase and what big, and I mean megaton, reveals and announcements we might expect. But first, a quick PSA. Now, if you're noticing more gameplay content on this channel, do not be alarmed, which is the most ironic thing I can say at this point because it should always be about games. So yeah, you'll start noticing more and more game content for new and older titles, flashbacks if you like, and this will be in addition to the usual Foxy Games UK gaming news and opinion content. It just means more content. Naturally, I'd like you to view all of FG UK's content, but obviously nobody's forcing you to watch anything on any channel on YouTube. Now, a ton of people still don't yet have a PlayStation 5, and my belief is gaming should always be about actually playing games, not just talking about them. If you're new here and like what I do, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit notification, follow Foxy Games UK via Twitter, at foxygames underscore uk for more informative gaming news gameplay and opinion so let's move on to our first news story this one courtesy of twistedvoxel.com major multiple reports hint at a playstation showcase in may 2023 literally weeks away could it be why the spider-man 2 ps5 developer insomniac games has asked for patience as fans plead for more footage. This story courtesy of PushSquare.com, link in the description. So Insomniac Games has asked fans for more patience as anticipation for Spider-Man 2 reaches fever pitch. Thus far, we've only seen one trailer for the game. It is all in engine footage, but it's hardly from the gameplay perspective. But the PS5 exclusive is apparently due out in September. And some people are pondering as to why it's taking so long for the studio to show more footage. Here's a quote. Because we're in the kitchen and it smells good in there, but we just ask for a little more patience. And that's according to Insomniac Games' Twitter account. So earlier this week, Peter Parker actor Yuri Lowenthal said he's completed his work on the game in a Reddit AMA, only to say the opposite on Twitter a few hours later. I think the overlords up at Sony got to him and we're almost certain that we'll be seeing a lot more of the release during some kind of playstation showcase this summer uh, it's actually rumored for may so could be in a couple of weeks but seeing as sony's yet to actually date an event we're all going to have to sit tight and wait a little longer and if we move over to techradar.com who really has accumulated a list of literally everything that we know about spider-man 2 at the long-awaited PS5 exclusive sequel. So Marvel Spider-Man 2 is swinging onto PS5 as, as I say in 2023, reports peg it for September, but Marvel Spider-Man 2 is set to be the first main first party launch title for PS5 this year. And from what's been seen, Peter and Miles Morales will be facing off against a set of iconic villains as per the previous games. Now, while there's still a lot to learn about the highly anticipated sequel to Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, there's been a lot of information from the developers over at Insomniac. There's even been a brief teaser trailer as well, which kind of gives us a glimpse as to what we can expect once the game launches, but very light on actual in-game play footage. While we wait for more news on Spider-Man 2, Literally everything that's known about the game so far can be found on techradar.com. Again, link in the description. And as more details are released, obviously their page will be up, updated and as will the information be relayed to my subscribers. So, Marvel Spider-Man 2 then. Due for release, fall 2023. Probably launching around the time Starfield drops. Exclusively for PS5 and completely skipping PS4 hardware as seen with the recent Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores expansion. Now this was confirmed via a tweet by PlayStation and rumors had suggested that 
there'll be a release date imminently, so it was great to have it confirmed, but for now, Fall 2023 is the closest we have to a final date. Moreover, the actor who plays Venom, Tony Todd, seems to have let the cat out of the bag. In terms of Spider-Man 2's release month via Eurogamer of all places, responding to a fan's comment on an Instagram post that they couldn't wait for the game, Todd replied, and I quote, looks like September, massive publicity coming in August, commercials start dropping in August, so I'm told, hold on to your, and hold your breath, gonna be necessary. Now clearly this isn't officially word from Insomniac, but for now, it's the best information on when we can expect to be playing the game from someone who's actually involved in the project. So the trailer seems to suggest we'll be playing as both Miles and Spider-Man uh, original Peter Parker, and the ending of Miles' solo game would back that up as well, but we don't know for sure. I mean, there's so much up in the air, a lot of speculation, but we certainly hope we can get to play as both Spider-Man though, and it would be nice if there was some form of co-op, online co-op, couch co-op how would they make that work i'm not the developer but it would be nice to have all the same as it would give marvel spider-man 2 way more story and gameplay options and give us twice the web slinging action certainly doable sound off in the comments if you like that feature now the spider duo are seen performing combo moves during the playstation showcase 2021 teaser good grief has it been that long which indicates we might be able to play as both at the same time at various points in the game but given that it was all just a cinematic in game nevertheless but there's no way to be certain for sure so with venom and potentially Craven the Hunter making an appearance in Marvel Spider-Man 2, Insomniac looks to be gearing its story towards a scarier villain in, than in Spider-Man's rogue gallery, probably a bit darker themed. Now we hope Insomniac delves even deeper into this and includes several other frightening characters like Lizard, Morbius, or other Marvel vampires like Molan. They may even have a cameo from the up and coming game, The Wolverine another PS5 exclusive, maybe even the Jackal. We wouldn't be surprised if Green Goblin or Hobgoblin showed up. Now, Kurt Connors, the human scientist who transformed into the lizard already appeared in Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, suggesting his villainous side could well show up in the sequel. The same is true of Norman Osborn, who was a key character in the first Marvel's Spider-Man game. So it might not be long before he becomes the Green Goblin as hinted uh, in the first game nevertheless if you haven't played it i'm going to try and keep spoilers to a minimum but you really ought to have played it by now now based on the ending of marvel spider-man's dlc it looks like venom could be harry osborne norma's son from the series now if harry befalls some terrible fate seemingly at the hands of spider-man that could be what drives norman osborne to become a villain and seek revenge now admittedly Jackal and Moron make a little less sense as they tie into the much longer stories like Spider-Man's clone saga and the Spider-Verse that we we would be deserving of their own dedicated game but uh, again anything can happen it's up to Insomniac how they want to play this all out either way I'd be happy to have all of the villains and some cameo heroes as well that would be great because that could set up future games you know the thing with this is Marvel's relationship with PlayStation, vice versa, is so deep and so long uh, lasting uh, that any character in this game could end up having its own separate game. That's how bizarre it is. They're so tied in together, Marvel and Sony. Now, while Spider-Man is known for being a New York City hero, we'd like to see our wall crawler take a, a trip to new locations in Marvel Spider-Man 2 before the city starts to feel stale. While the teaser seems to suggest we'll definitely be in a New York-like city at some points thanks to the PS5's SSD and power, Insomniac will be able to load in other large locations to explore too and lavished with ray tracing because they've really had their wet their, their feet with ray tracing in the first two games. So they probably perfected their ray tracing uh, capabilities by now for the sequel. So probably a 40 FPS mode, one of those balance modes, or you can have 30 if you don't have a VR or 120 Hertz enabled panel. Now there's another option, especially if they take the horror 
route. It could be to include a character like Doctor Strange, yes please, who could transport us into some fearsome realms through SSD power and technology and ultra fast speed or we might see our heroes go on the run if they find Kraven the Hunter too deadly a threat to handle. How about visiting Simcaria, the home of the Silver Sable and a location that Peter was visiting in his absence in Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now New York definitely works great as a setting for Spider-Man games obviously because of the looming skyscrapers that are really perfect for web swinging but I like the idea of the Doctor Strange alternate realms possibilities especially with the SSD advantages that PS5 has so that could kind of mix it up a bit and uh, remove a bit of the monotony of you know being around New York City. Not that New York City is not great, but yeah, variety is the spice of life. So moving over to TwistedVoxel.com where there's multiple reports that hints at a PlayStation showcase due to take place just in weeks, May 2023. Those reports also coincide with hints at a Mortal Kombat 12 announcement to take place at said showcase interesting stuff so multiple reports suggest that sony will be holding a playstation showcase during the month of may and that mortal kombat 12 will be announced at the event several sources appear to suggest that a playstation showcase is definitely scheduled for may and that mortal kombat 12 will be revealed at the sony event jeff grubb who is known for his game industry insights has stated it's safe to say that the playstation showcase will happen in may though he added that it may get pushed to sometime early in june covering his ass, no doubt. At any rate, he firmly believes that the event will happen before Summer Game Fest this year. So in addition to the co-founder of Xbox Era and co-host of the Xbox Era podcast, Special Nick stated during a recent episode that he's heard about Mortal Kombat 12 being announced at the next PlayStation Showcase event, with co-host Randall Thor agreeing with him, stating that he expects Sony to have marketing rights for the game. Meanwhile, Jez Corden of the Xbox 2 podcast hinted at a Mortal Kombat 12 reveal sometime in May. Putting two and two together, all the Xbox guys are saying it, it must be true. <laughs> it would appear that the game is getting revealed at the PlayStation Showcase that is scheduled to happen in May. How many times are Twisted Vox Voxel going to repeat that line, PlayStation Showcase scheduled to happen sometime in May? Recently, it was reported that the official website for the Mortal Kombat series had received a major update hinting at the possibility of a Mortal Kombat 12 reveal happening soon. Additionally, pro fighting game player Sonic Fox also anticipated an official announcement in regard to this game coming soon. I've also tweeted months ago about Mortal Kombat 12 happening within months. You can go look at my history. Since receiving a major update, the official Mortal Kombat website now includes a character design quiz and highlights on each character's page. However, the interesting bit here is that the roster of characters featured on the side is from the original Mortal Kombat and characters from the future entries are nowhere to be seen. Suggesting that the next entry may end up being another reboot, whether this is in relation to an announcement involving Mortal Kombat 12 is difficult to say though Sonic Fox seems convinced. Interesting stuff, but yeah, everybody's gagging for a bit of Mortal Kombat 12 no doubt. Those games are high quality fighting titles, but you know, thinking ahead, PlayStation Showcase, that's going to be a nice reveal there, but it won't be the grand reveal, you know, Death Stranding 2. Wolverine, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2, Spider-Man 2, a new multiplayer first-person shooter or two Sony developed. Whatever Days Gone developer Ben Studio is up to, more PlayStation VR 2 announcements inevitable, Ghost of Tsushima Studio Sucker Punch, Haven Studios Project, Santa Monica Studio, Guerrilla Games Next Project, news on the Grand Theft Auto 6 Rockstar partnership perhaps a trailer maybe not at the showcase however i believe there will be a grand theft auto 6 reveal before the end of this year guaranteed just to set it up for release in 2024 and let's not forget naughty dog and their last of us multiplayer project as well as other games 
that they are brewing in the background. There's a bunch of stuff Sony could show at the PlayStation Showcase in May or June, whenever. But we are literally weeks away from a PlayStation Showcase. What are your faves? What are you expecting? What are you looking forward to? Especially with all the palaver of the Call of Duty. Goodness grief, Call of Duty drama ongoing. We do need a showcase, a big showcase with Megaton reveals because at the end of the day, Call of Duty is just one genre and we are very diverse gamers. We play the whole spread. The what say you? Let's continue the discussion cordially in the comments as that brings us to the end of the video. Just like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and comment regularly on videos and you can help Foxy Games UK reach more gamers so feel free to share the video. You may also want to consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon because, well, we're like family now. Link in the description. But that concludes our time together on this Monday. Until next time, play games, not corporations.